Okay, so this is a video request from IBM ThinkPad R51, formerly known as the War Algo Man. Okay, so, uh, here is a video on how to install Windows Vista on your computer. Now, I'm not going to actually install it, but I will tell you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want, if your, if your computer has less than a 1 gigahertz processor and or 768 megabytes of RAM, then I suggest you run the Upgrade Advisor, the Windows Vista Upgrade Advisor. It is no longer available on Microsoft website, but I'm pretty sure you can get it somewhere else. Anyways, so, the first basic thing you're going to want to do, since I have an upgrade version, if you have an upgrade version, then you're in luck, because that's what this video is about. Okay, so if you have an upgrade version, you're going to want to take the disk out, open your C drive, and stick it in. So you stick it in the computer, and then it loads up. I'm not actually going to do it, but I'll show you what to do. Still loading up, takes a while because this computer's old. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, for some reason it's not working. Okay, well, that was an epic fail right there. Okay. For this comparison, I will be using my Dell Latitude D500 computer instead of my Compact because it's not freaking working for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, it's because it's a DVD. Boy! So you stick it in the drive. This computer already has Vista, so I can't reinstall it. There we go. One setup. allow it has to allow itself okay so then you're going to want to check compatibility online if you've already done that congratulations um, if, your computer, if you're positive that your computer can run Windows Vista you're going to click the install now option right here so you just click that and it should work then it will bring you up to a Vista uh, screen and you'll have to enter your product key which can be found on the back of the media holder. Let me show you it without showing you the actual key, because you guys are piraters, I know. Okay, so there's the product key. It's right there. Um, so yeah, it'll be on the back of the media holder. Okay, so then you're going to want to click Install Now. and then it will bring you up to the screen. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm not going to actually install it because this is already Vista. Okay. Taking a while. Still taking a while. Got to be patient with this stuff. Okay. So then you're going to want to click the important updates for installation and then we'll launch your product key. Yes, I want to cancel. Okay. So then you're going to install Vista. It will take a few hours to install. You're going to enter your product key. Then it is going to, then you are going to sit there and watch it install and or go have a drink or coffee or something. Um, do something else for the next good hour or two. Um, so, basically when it's, it'll, uh, restart several, several times, um, uh, the Vista, then Vista will, um, uh, start for the first time, and then you're going to have to go through the setup. Um, when you get to the end of the setup, though, um, and if your computer just, uh, it seems like your computer just freezes at, when it only has the Vista background, 
Um, don't worry about it. It will eventually go to the checking performance screen. Oh, fudge. There we go. Okay, so um, once you're done installing Windows Vista, um, if you did an upgrade, you're ready to go. Um, uh, you're ready to go. And uh, if you did a... Uh, uh, if you ha don't have an upgrade DVD, if you have a full version, and you want to reinstall it without, it's without installing over XP, then you're go what you're going to want to do is... If your computer's already on, just restart it. Then you're going to want to hit whichever key it is. For this computer, it's F1 to get into the setup screen. There you go. This is entering setup. Okay. Then it will enter the setup. Now, what you're going to want to do, if you have the Phoenix BIOS, like me, then you're going to want to go to the options that says Boot. Then you're going to want to go to Boost Device Priority. Then you want to go to the first device, is going to be the CD-ROM group. There you go. Um, actually, it will say DVD-ROM group. You have to have a DVD drive to install Vista. It is a, re is a requirement, because that is a DVD. have to have a DVD. So you may set your DVD drive as, you have to have a DVD drive just like that one. That one right there. Okay, so when you set the uh, 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 DVD as the boot up of the device, you can press escape. Then you can go to exit, escape, however the heck you do it. Quit without saving. I'm going to quit without saving, but you would go to the exit screen and quit exit saving changes. Okay. So then you're going to, then it will boot from the CD, you're going to press any key, then it will start the setup and all that, and then you ask for a product key, it'll do the exact same thing with the upgrade. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and then once it's all installed, you're going to want to install all your drivers, make sure everything's working, go and do, uh, be sure to get, uh, any service packs you might need, um, any of that. So be sure to get service packs and all that. Um, and when you're all done doing that, congratulations, you have successfully installed Windows Vista on your computer. So yeah, that is a basic video requested by IBM ThinkPad R51 about how to install Windows Vista. See you later, people.